Hey everybody. So today is post uh post day two of my ab X with Sono Bella. I am running a little behind on schedule on what I'm supposed to be doing. I was supposed to get up this morning around eight o'clock to shower. I have been knocked out since I did the last video. <laughs> I was a little sore. Um I did eat some oatmeal and a banana and I had a bottle of water for breakfast. So now I'm getting ready to take my dressings off and I'm going to take a shower. He told me no bath, I can take a shower. I love taking baths, but no baths for two weeks, maybe longer. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. This is still, this is the dressing from the last video I did. And even though I'm doing this on myself, I have cleaned my hands, I'm still wearing gloves. So I'm a nurse, so I'm super cautious about like infections and real big, I'm an infection control educator. So I'm real big on that, keeping everything clean as I can. So what if as if you have gloves, doesn't hurt to wear them. No bleeding at all on this side. And then here's the biggie. Here's the one everybody's been waiting to see. And I have two puncture marks up here. And I do believe he went into the same spot, which I like. Here and here. And he really got up in here. I can feel it. I can feel it. So he did a lot of liposuction up in here. And here. Let me position this right. I don't want to show too much. Get in trouble. Okay. So I'm all up on the camera, but I don't want you guys to see. Okay, it doesn't show anything. So here's this one. Here's the Ab X. And that is a skin removal that I had done. And when I tell you, I am super sore in my pubic area right here. I do believe he may have done some liposuction. Look, minimal bleeding at all. Minimal bleeding. And even though I had the procedure uh, two weeks early, I am glad I was being good and preparing my body for it. So I've been exercising like crazy. Sorry, I was gonna call it. I've been exercising like crazy trying to get myself ready for it. But here's what my scar looks like. So it looks like it's gonna be right here, like on my natural line crease, which I like. So I'm excited about that. But right now, and I am still a little bit swollen, there is nothing to pinch. So I'm excited. Push up a little bit. Here's how I look from the side. Guys and I am swollen. I cannot wait to see these results. Yes. <laughs> my pain level is not bad. Like my husband gave me my antibiotic I need to take post-op. He gave me uh, Celebrex and my Arnica. I told him, don't give me that Percocet. I don't need it right now. I'm good. So... Again, I'm I'm sure that it's still the um, numbing medication they gave me that has me kind of numb still. And I can still feel the Percocets that they gave me before surgery. And then, guess the one my husband gave me last night. So, I don't need any more right now. I feel fine. <laughs> but here's how it looks. There is a piece of tape. It looks like surgical tape, but I'm sure it's not just plain surgical tape on top of here. So I'm going to do my best to make sure I take care of this incision. Um, so he told me afterwards, just try it with a blow dryer on cold setting. So I did take, <laughs> sorry guys, I did take the blow dryer that I have. And I cleaned it out, <clears throat> wiped it all down with alcohol pad, <clears throat> took another uh, high pressure fan and just put it all in the back. I want to make sure to blow everything out of it and make sure it's as clean as thorough as possible. 
but here is what I look like. As far as standing up straight, let's see, I can, but I do feel the little pull. So for me, it's a little more comfortable standing like this. So I'm kind of standing over this way. Let me show you. I'm gonna stand up. It just feels like I need to pull back down. So I'm not going to stay hunched over like that, but even look when I stay hunched over, look at that. And this is what's swelling. Oh my gosh. Remember all the little rolls and everything I had before? And my stomach. You can see, you can almost see my sun tattoo again. I thought we were going to pull. I don't know how much of it I would have left, but I still have all of it left. But before, how my stomach looked kind of like it was a long line. You can really see my belly button in there. Now you can really see it. So it's starting to look normal, which didn't bother me, but I got a lot of comments about it. I do, of course, feel a lot of hardness right here. Let's see. And I'm just palpating my tummy. Right now it's more tender. It feels like I did an extreme, extreme workout. Right here, it's a lot of scar tissue. Or it feels like it right now. It's just hardening. But he did tell me, it's the second to go around, I'm going to have a lot of scar tissue. So again, I'm going to work my butt off to try to make sure I do everything I can to break that up like last time. As soon as he gets me to go, I'm getting started. I'm getting back on my exercising. I am getting back on my um, radio frequency skin tightening. I'm going to start compressing and wrapping. It's driving me crazy right now because... My natural reaction is to want to compress to put something on. But he said, no, do not do it. So I'm going to listen to the surgeon and I'm not going to do it. And so I'm going to take a shower and wear some loose clothing on top. I don't have any drainage. So, I mean, at this point, what I'll probably do is just put a Band-Aid right here. I'm going to put a Band-Aid on this one when I get out. A Band-Aid right here. And then I'll probably put another posy pad just in case because, again, this isn't an incision. It's a good size one. I don't want to play around with the infection. So I'm going to put another posy pad across this one. These two little guys look good. So I'm just going to put, I think, just a band -Aid right there on those two. And it'll be fine. But it's also, for some reason, like if I push my stomach out a little bit, I don't know why it feels weird. And that's fine. Just when I suck it in like this, it feels good. So I'm hoping my goal is for it to look like this when it is all healed up. Ooh, not be super snatch with no hangover. I can already see the difference. So here is my update. Now I'm going to hop in the shower and then I will do another update of, um, I'm getting a little exhausted right now because I've been standing up too long. So I don't want to overdo it. I have been doing, trying to do everything by myself, but I'm going to sit down for a minute, drink some water. And, um, I guess I'll let my husband come in here and supervise me when I take a shower just to be on the safe side. Make sure I don't slip, fall, or get dizzy or anything like that. But I will post another video later of um, what I'm going to be eating for lunch. Oh, also too. Let me show you guys these. I couldn't find the matching pair. So I'm like, you know what? This will do the, this will do the job. You got room for my last videos? I wear these faithfully. These are compression uh, stockings, lady, compression socks. It don't matter if you go to Walmart, go to the pharmacy side, get a pair of compression stockings. If you want something cute, you can go to a scrub store that sells medical scrubs, Amazon, and I got the high compression. So if you have big calves like me, I got the large to extra large. If you have thinner calves, go ahead and maybe get the medium large. And so they have different layers of compression. I always get the high compression. So these are pretty tough. These bad boys come up right below my knee, but I made sure as soon as I got home, I was pretty woo. But I remember telling my husband, where's my compression socks at? So I put these on, 
yesterday and I made sure to elevate my feet. What this does is to help the blood flow, especially after surgery or any type of procedure, you're at increased risk for blood clots. So it's really important to make sure to get up and walk around. If your surgeon tells you to get up every hour while you're awake and walk around for five minutes, do it. They're not telling you it just to force you to get up. For one, it's going to help prevent blood clots. Get you a pair of these. That's going to help prevent blood clots. Elevate those feet up when you're sleeping. That's going to help with the blood flow. It's going to help it flow down and flow back up. So when you get up, you won't have big, giant swollen legs, which is going to cause another problem. Then you're going to naturally want to just lay down. So a big misconception or I think a big confusion. <clears throat> a lot of people think, oh, I have surgery. I just want to just lay down for a couple of days. Worst mistake you can ever do. So, one, and it also helps relieve pain when you get up and you move around. So, if you just lay there, you're in pain. And you lay, you're in pain. When you get up, you're going to be in more pain. So, you're naturally going to want to lay back down. Get up and fight it. You want it that body? You better get up and you better earn it. So, always make sure after surgery, when you wear your compression socks, Whatever recommendations the surgeon gives you, follow them to a T. They don't tell you them for no reason. So I will do another video for you guys later. Bye.